Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermalright SP94 Copper Heat Pipe Heat Sink. What is included in this package are a number of standoffs, bolts, washers, etc. Also, four fan clips, an X plate, some thermal compound, and the heat sink. This heat sink is solid copper weighing in at 530 grams. You can put two fans on it, either a 92 millimeter or an 80 millimeter. And as you can see, it does look a lot different than most heat sinks on the market because of these three heat pipes. These three heat pipes come from the nice, smooth, thick, solid copper base, and they go into all of these copper fins, and that does help dissipate the heat. And the dimensions on this with the fins only without the fan is 99 by 59 by 45 millimeters and with the heat sink base without the fan it's 67 by 81 by 45 millimeters and you'll really want to check their website and see if this particular heat sink will fit on your motherboard. If your motherboard is already installed inside of your case you're going to need to remove it in order to install this particular heat sink. Once that's done go ahead and remove the retention bracket. Next install the CPU and then apply some thermal compound. Now you'll need to place this X plate on the bottom of the motherboard there are also these four plastic washers. You want to put them on where the standoffs go in each corner. Next, take these four standoffs and screw them into that X plate. Next, go ahead and carefully place the heat sink on top of those four standoffs. Next, go ahead and use these four spring loaded screws to mount the heat sink to those standoffs and then install the 92 millimeter fan clips. Now, if you're installing an 80 millimeter fan on this and you're of course going to be using the 80 millimeter fan clips, go ahead and install those 80 millimeter fan clips first and then install these four spring loaded screws. And finally, place the fan on top and bring the fan clips up on either side. This heat sink is well crafted and designed and you do get some great results from it but keep in mind you need to remove your motherboard in order to install this heat sink. Also be sure before getting this heat sink to check on their website to make sure that this heat sink will fit. But overall this product is kick ass. Again my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop it on my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go into the forums and register and remember registration is completely free. Also keep in mind you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.